I'm showing you how to get Arrest OS for Minecraft 1.21. So first off, you want to head over to their official website, ArrestOS.net, which is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website, you want to click on this white download button over there, and then click on this gray download button here as well. And the download will automatically start. So now as you can see in my downloads, I have Aristos, and to use this you actually need a program called the Java Platform made by Oracle. You'll already have this if you've ever modded Minecraft before, or used something like Forge or Fabric for example. If you don't have it, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link this down in the description. Anyways, to open Aristos up, you simply want to double click on this file right here. If that doesn't work for you, you can right click on it, go to open with, and then go and select the Java platform, which is the program I just told you you needed. Anyways, if you've done that, as you can see, the Aristos installer is going to open up. You can click on continue, choose our Minecraft version, which in this case is going to be 1.21. Then we can go to next and click on install. And as you can see, the install process happens very, very quickly, and it's already done. So that's great. Anyways, because this is just the installer, you can actually delete this if you do wish to do so. Anyways, we can now close this and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, under this tab over here, you want to make sure you have 1.21 Aristo selected. If you do, you can click on play after, of course, understanding the risks of playing modded Minecraft. Anyways, upon opening this up, you'll actually get a little bit of a description and a little bit of a tutorial on how to use Aristos. Now, you don't need to worry too much about that because I'm going to continue right over here just as you can and I'll head into a Minecraft world and I'll show you how to use this. Also, take a second to look at this home screen. This is one of my personal favorites across every single Minecraft client out there. So as I said, inside of Minecraft here, I'm going to briefly show you how to use Aristos. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to use this client, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, once you load up Minecraft, you'll see some things on your screen already, and I'm going to explain what all of this is and how you can manage it. Anyways, as you can see on my screen, you want to press on right shift, and that is going to open up the click GUI over here. In the click GUI, we have basically all of the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. Keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these sections and that way that you don't miss out on anything. Also, you will see that you get a brief description of the specific utility when you hover above it. And if you're looking for something specific, then you can search for it in the search menu right there. Now you can actually also right click on all of these utilities and you'll actually get a little bit of a customization menu. As you can see, which is pretty cool, some of them do have more customization than others, as you can see. Now, one thing that almost all of these customization menus allow for is to set a key bind. You can simply press on this and then press on any key on your keyboard and you'll get a set a key bind. As you can see, you'll get a notification of that as well. And it'll show up right over here. You can also pin this by sliding on that and that way it's going to show up in this pinned menu right over there. Now back to the things on my screen over here. Heading into the click GUI, we can actually manage most of these. As you can see, they're all the utilities that are being turned on by default, and you can find all of the default utilities under this pinned menu right over here, as you can see. Anyways, you can simply turn all these off if you wish to do so. As you can see, now my screen is completely clean, and I can still, of course, access this. Anyways, all of these have their own functions. As you can see, you can hover above these and you'll get the description, of course, but they all show you and display different things on your screen. One thing I want to look at is the tab GUI, which you can see in the top left hand side. You can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate this, as you can see. So. That is pretty cool. It can be a pretty fast way of navigating the menu. Some people prefer to use this over the click GUI and others don't. For the rest on our screen, we have some general world information and the array list in the top right hand side, which basically displays every single currently active module, apart from the ones that have been enabled by default. 
Anyways, I can turn off these if I do wish to do so. Now, one last thing I actually wanted to look at in this click GUI area over here is the menu one, which is basically the Aristowis module UI, and it allows you to change some general settings about this area over here, which you can see here, for example, the scale, as well as other things like that. If you do wish to do so, then you can, of course, configure that. And the same thing is true for this theme area over here, which allows you to manage the appearance of Aristos. As you can see, you can enable custom colors if you wish to do so. Anyways, we can actually close out of here now because that isn't actually all. Aristos also has other things, and for that, we can open up the chat. You'll already get a little bit of a tip here on how to use it. Anyways, just as like in regular Minecraft, you can type slash, give, like so, you use the slash as the command prefix. For Aristobus, you use the dot. I can type dot help in chat, just like so, and that is going to give me a list of all of the commands that this client has, as well as their usage and what they can do. But commands with Aristobus are actually really easy to use as well, due to the fact that they have autofill, which basically no other clients have, and is really useful. I'll take a look at the command that allows you to manage the IRC, which you've seen a few messages of here already. The IRC is basically the in-game relay chat, and among other things, it allows you to communicate directly with other Aristos users. Anyways, let's say I find these messages I'm getting here a little bit annoying. I simply type in .irc, and then I'll get the two options right over here. I can set something, or I can disconnect, and that was a pretty bad voice crack. Anyways, I want to disconnect. So as you can see, I've now been disconnected from the IRC and I won't get any of these messages here anymore. Of course, you can then once again use the IRC command to reconnect. Anyways, for the rest, most of those commands should be pretty self-explanatory. If you do, of course, have any questions or stuff like that, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever as much for watching and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.